Chris McKenzie's Vegetable of the Week. It's a potato. It's a potato. Oh, for God. Well. See, look, you were so good last week. I know. And, oh, I just don't believe you. Sorry. Too busy. Chris McKenzie's Vegetable of the Week. It's a potato. It's a potato. I don't know what it is. It's all covered in mud. <laughs> do you remember it is, that advert? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. It is Chris McKenzie's Vegetable of the Week, and we are today featuring Chris McKenzie's potato. What interesting facts have you got for us about the potato, Justin? There are about 100 varieties of edible potatoes. They're often classified as either mature potatoes, the large potatoes that we are generally familiar with, and new potatoes, those that are harvested before maturity and are of much smaller size. Ah, most of us know the potato is technically a vegetable, but there are so many other fun potato facts you should learn about your favourite food. The potato can be traced back 4,000 years to the Peruvians in South America. Yes, which is the 16th century. They originated in the and- and- Andean mountain region of South America. Ah. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Irish potato isn't so Irish after all, at least not originally. Actually, many potato facts say that Europeans including the Irish, didn't accept the potato when it was first introduced in Europe in the 1500s. Yes. Many Europeans claim... Yeah, you, you was going to interrupt me then, wasn't oh, you? No, I was, was going to carry on, but you are going to... Yeah, no, you are yes. going to finish it off, I've not you? finished, yes. Go on, then. Many... Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah, get on with it. Do you mind if I finish? You're going to say suspicious, aren't you? No. Oh. Many Europeans claim that the potato carried a wide variety of diseases. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Have you finished yet? Or? No, oh, they right. didn't accept the potato because it was never oh. mentioned in the Bible. Oh, did you know that potato was never yes. mentioned in the Bible? I did know. You didn't? Yeah, because that was my next fact. Oh, okay. And some others thought they were poisonous. <laughs> so anyway, that was. What? Anyway, it wasn't mentioned in the Bible and some, some other Europeans thought they were poisonous. So that's why they didn't eat them. They were suspicious of them. Okay. It's thought that the potatoes were brought to the US by Irish immigrants in the 18th century, but they didn't become popular until the 19th century. That's it. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Although, although the potato never made it into the Bible, it has been into outer space. Oh, wow. Yes. I didn't know that. Well, you did. You've seen the advert, haven't you? Let's get mash, get smash. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> no, but it did actually. It has actually been into space. In an, uh, right. Astronauts took the potato plant on the space shuttle Columbia in 1995 to see if they could grow them in zero, zero gravity. And could they? Um, thankfully... For those who can't live without real potatoes, the experiment was a success. Ah, <laughs> ah. So if you dig up into space, don't forget to take a potato plant with you. Yes. Yes. Or a spade. Yes. Dig up the ones they've already planted. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Yes. And historical events centred around them. When in 1840, 1845 and 1846, a blight ruined most of the potato crop in Ireland and caused major, major devastation. This event is known as the Irish Potato Famine. Ah, 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 ah. ah. Um, <laughs> uh, a little known fact, a fun fact about potatoes even, is they are green. Yeah, only when they're grown out no, of the ground. No, I've not finished. All right. Not green in colour, but rather environmentally friendly. Not only are they cheap to purchase, but they're also very easy to grow. Ah. Yes. Analysis of red and Norcota potatoes revealed that these spuds... Phenolic content rivals that of broccoli, spinach, and Brussels sprouts, and includes fla- flavonoids. That's a good word, isn't it? Flavonoid. Oh, flavonoids. Flavonoids. Uh, yeah. G- with with protective activity against cardiovascular disease, respiratory problems, and certain cancers. What do you even get cream for that? Probably flavonoids. Flavonoids. Yeah. Go to your local chemist, yeah. listeners. I've and, got uh, flavonoids. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Can you get me some cream for that, please? Rub this on. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know royalty even used to wear potatoes to make a fashion statement? Ah. ah, it was like Mary Antoinette wore potato blossoms. UK scientists at the Institute... Even King Louis XVI oh, got finished? into potato-wearing action. Really? Yeah. What, on his head? Uh, no, it just says even King Louis XVI got into potato-wearing action. Oh, fantastic. Oh, excuse me. So it's a right royal spud. Yes. 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 It's a, it's a King Edward, actually. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Uh, UK scientists at the Institute for Food Research have identified blood pressure lowering compounds called cucoamines in potatoes. Well, I, I, I had heard this fact. Had you really? Yes, I, I'd heard. I'd actually heard this fact on the telly. Ah. Yes. Ah, I didn't that, know that. That is interesting, yeah. Um, new potatoes make ideal bowling balls for voles. 
<laughs> big bowling balls. Yeah, it's well, no, big bowls. Oh, right. Okay, we'll be right back with uh, more interesting closing facts about the potato, and I'm sure Bustin Justin's written a song. <laughs> I'm working on it right now. <laughs> okay, we've got a great tune now from the Scar Souls. This is Oil in My Lamp. Potato. It's a potato. We did it before. We did right. it six minutes ago. Yeah, I just I got it on time. It, no, I just said it wrong. You said it wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Chris McKenzie's Vegetable of the Week. It's, it's a potato. potato. <laughs> yes. I don't know what it is. It's all covered in mud. And uh, what fascinating closing facts for you have you got for us about the potato? A single baked potato will also provide you with 11.7% of the daily value for fibre. But remember that the fibre in potatoes is mostly in their skin. Ah. Did you... Ah. 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 Potatoes. No, I was going to do a different one, didn't I? Did you know there's at least as there's at least nine different varieties of potato? Yes, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Name yeah. them then. There's over. A, there's actually a hundred. Well, that's varieties. at least that's at least nine then. Yes. So I'm not going to name a hundred because we'll be all blooming day. All right, name three. Uh, King Edwards. Yes. New Jersey. Yes. Um, and I don't know. There's loads of them, isn't there? <laughs> Come on. If there's, if there's hundreds. Name... There is hundreds of them. Oh, I only asked you to name three. Jersey potatoes, uh, King Edwards, and... Oh, there's loads. There's always on the bag. Oh, one it? more. No, you, you name one. One more. Come no, on. I don't do it. The new potato. Oh, God. The Rufus Red. Rufus Red? Yes. Oh. Aunt Bessie's potatoes. I already said two earlier. Yeah, but I've just given three. Norcota. 
Uh, that's a boring one. Yeah. Uh, potatoes are the most important crop in the entire world. They fall at number four on the list of important crops, with only corn, wheat, and rice beating them out for importance. Ah. Ah. 2008 has been declared the International Year of the Potato by the United Nations. Potatoes is the crop of the future that could feed an increasingly hungry world. Ah. 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 Did you know, if you're Mr. Potato Head... Uh, if he loses an ear, you can write to Waddington's and they'll send you a new one. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. There you go, listeners. Everybody should write to Waddington's now and they'll run out of ears for Mr. Potatoes. Yeah, if you've got a Mr. Potato Head. Yes, Mr. Potato Head. Sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry, right. I do apologise. Uh, on your go. Um, hang on one second, bear with me. Oh. Did you know the potato is actually about 80% water? Only 20% of it is actual solid. Potato can also be quite large, the world's largest weighing in over 18 pounds. Ah. Now, there's a lot of chips in that. Yes, indeed. Yes. Go on, then. The world's biggest <laughs> potato was grown in Germany in 1997, weighing in at 8.2 kilograms. 3.2 kilograms, sorry. Uh, that's, the ne- that's the same weight as a small dog. That's a big potato, isn't yes, it? Yes, or... A- or a very small dog. Or a giant vole. Yes. <laughs> um, Pringles, uh, Pringles made the world's largest, largest potato chip. It was produced in Tennessee in 1990 and measures 23 inches across. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't That'd it? That'd be a hell of a thing. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm running out of facts now. Okay, if you cut a potato in half and hollow it out, you've got an ideal coracle for a vole. <laughs> Can you, can you explain to some listeners what a coracle is? Because some of our uh, listeners don't know. A coracle, a, a coracle uh, back in the Stone Ages, or um, not the, the Bronze Age, rather, was like a little boat. It's, it's like a hat that uh, Bill the Fireman wears. Ah. Yeah. Yes, there you go, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got one more. I've it's got, a good one. Oh, you can't have one now. No, we've, no, we've done yeah, the vault no, one. No, you can have ha- one more. No, have you written a song for us, Justin? <laughs> not yet. No, I'm going to do one more. Frederick... Give me all in my life. Right, are you finished? No. Right, let me do this one. Frederick Lord Walton, do you know you can get Minister 70% of Food. Off, uh, sushi. Really? If you've got a group on. Great. Yeah. Right. Frederick Lord Walton, Minister of Food, may be remembered as the most popular government minister ever. During the Second World War, he declared that fish and chips were the only food not to be rationed. I've got to try and find another vulgar fact. Yeah, now, go on then. I? Yeah. No. Um, did you, uh, if you right, cut, I've written a song about potatoes. All right, if you cut a potato in half yeah. and hollow it out, yeah. you've got an ideal hat for a Bill Vole. Bill Vole, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, definitely indeed. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justin, have you written a song for us this morning I about in, the potato? I have indeed, Wolfman. And uh, what key would you like it in today? Uh, I think we'll do it in um, B flat. <laughs> yeah, that would. No, all right then that's gonna work you reckon yeah okay yeah and a one one and a two and a one two three four the wonderful thing about chris mckenzie's oh i bugged that yeah you did didn't you a one and a two and a one two three four the wonderful thing about chris mckenzie's potato is chris mckenzie's potatoes are wonderful things they're brown and muddy brown and muddy and make a good buddy they're, They're wonderful, 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 wonderful things. Well, I like mm. potatoes. I love potatoes. Okay, we've got another fans- fascinating Chris McKenzie's Vegetable of the Week coming for you next week. Here's a great one by Aqua. It's Cartoon Heroes. <laughs> 